Hello, this is Murotur Kiraz. With this video, I will show you how to make simulations with normal and malicious RPL nodes and how to obtain raw data uh, from that simulations. In my last video, I explained you how to obtain uh, benign and malicious nodes. Uh, you can access my blog page uh, from details below and uh, as you uh, see that there is ex experiments um, folder here on desktop and we got that experiments uh, folder from uh, don'ts rpl from framework and i explained it in my previous video yes we have uh, three types of attacks hello float uh, and each uh, folder have uh, two main folders with malicious and here are the modes of sensor, root and malicious modes. Now we will make simulation uh, with that mod. In order to make simulation we open a new terminal and just we need to uh, get in the folder where the Kuja simulator is in. Uh, it's in here and we will need we, we will run uh, that uh, command in order to run that simulation. Uh, we just add the big man parameter because we uh, the the simulator will use uh, big man uh, parameter. It will more uh, more memory. Uh, it will use more memory from the RAM, uh, and we just ever uh, enter our password and uh, we will wait for opening it. Here I would like to show you uh, the file explorer here, ng uh, tools, kuja and the build. Here, uh, this this is the uh, folder that our pickup files or the network data file will be created in. So here, uh, from the Kuja, I'm choosing new simulation. I'm typing HF. Uh, I coded like that. HF for hello flood attack. DR for uh, decreased rank attack and VI for version number increase attack. For uh, V type, I type HF and 1R, 10, N. Uh, it means that I will run it with one root mode and 10 normal nodes or sensor nodes. And I will create. Uh, the, um, the simulation and I will add modes from here create new mod type new mod type and Z1 mode I will choose I will add root and I will browse from the experiments uh, experiments folder on desktop here Hello float with malicious. I will add all the modes from here. Root, open, create, create. I will add one mode and then I will create one more Z1 mode and it will be normal browse sensor this is the normal and this is the malicious node mode i will add 10 normal modes i will add modes here and it will be distributed uh, randomly just from view menu uh, i will uh, hit the type mode and we can see the differences of the modes and 
lastly I will add one more uh, mod type and it will be Z1 after uh, after creating the uh, pickup data uh, I will make the same experiment with the malicious node uh, and we will have two different type of files and that one these files will be uh, will contain uh, the mode with the malicious uh, mode and uh, without the malicious mode and I will write malicious and I will choose I will create and I will not add mode because this experiment will be with the normal modes I just arrange these modes here just uh, we need to know that each mode will be in in that green area if it will be like that it will not communicate with the other modes but it will communicate with the uh, with the other modes so in order to establish the D O D A G uh, structure. We need we need to they need to be in their filed here. Okay, and we have the all normal modes one root and the other ones are uh, other ones are the normal modes modes. And we need to um, pick up the um, P PCAP files, the network files, and it will be established in here. Just we need to go in uh, tools, radio messages. Okay. Yes, it's here. And we will need to uh, select this option six low VPN analyzer with pickup and it will uh, establish a pickup file uh, in that in that folder and I would like to run each uh, of the uh, simulation five minutes and in order to do that I will add scripts here simulation from simulation script editor and I will make that value 300,000 because it will make uh, 300,000 milliseconds will make five minutes and then I will activate here from run menu I will activate it if I do not activate and uh, this secret script will not run okay and then uh, in order to see the new pickup file here uh, I will start from here and we will see the radio messages here I'm starting the simulation Yes, you see the uh, radio files came here and the simulation establishing the DODAG, the DODAG uh, structure here, RPS protocol. Just we will uh, wait until the end of the simulation. It will stop after five minutes. By the way, they are connected with DIS messages uh, with each uh, mode. The five minutes, uh, it has been five minutes, and we have the pickup file here. And I will rename it as HF 1R10N.pickup. 
and then I will open the Wireshark. I will open uh, that pickup file from here. If you cannot find, it will be uh, under your username, Kontiki ng tools kuja build under that folder and I'm opening it and I will export this um, packages as CSV file in order to make a dat data analyze and I will rename it HF 1 R 10 N and save it is saved in here you can see the commerce separated uh, file here these are the all information that are made by normal nodes and I'm renewing uh, reloading the uh, simulation I will not change the place of any uh, of the mode just uh, just I will change that mode to malicious mode and I would like to uh, get the data and I will add a malicious mode here one more yes I deleted it and I will rerun the simulation with that malicious mode it's running here we have the radio messages it will take five minutes and then it will stop and you can see that our new uh, pickup file is created here and it is written inside of it just we will wait until the simulation ends the hello flood attack uh, is something like that and uh, this mode uh, sent DIS messages unnecessarily to to other modes and it cloaks uh, they their uh, their clocks their timer clocks and uh, because of that uh, the uh, the attack happens just you can see the difference uh, the with the normal modes uh, it has been uh, it was finished but it is in the first first minute you can also see that uh, it distributes the DIS messages the other ones do not it dist distribute unnecessarily and you can see that uh, after the uh, experiment uh, finish uh, after uh, finishing the ex experiment just we could compare the length of the data of pickup file and we can uh, see that uh, uh, there will be much more data in this attack so uh, it is unnecessarily uh, exceeds uh, unnecessarily disturbs the uh, the power of the uh, exceeds the power consumption it means that for instance a battery uh, will leave five hours with that attack it will run out in uh, maybe 20 minutes Yes, it finishes and we will make the same process here. I will open Wireshark. If 
for opening Wireshark, not here, here, I will rename. This is the hello float one root and nine normal and one malicious. I will open the file. That file, I will open it and I will export it as CSV hf one root nine normal and one malicious i will save it yes we can we can compare these two data yes i recorded falsely i'm sorry here we have 51,376 rows and in that file with normal modes we had uh, just 5,719 5, and it is much more than 